Hello, so from Trifo Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip of tonight or today, I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, bevel edges in Blender easily. If you have a sharp edge in your model, like maybe a door frame or a desk or a countertop, you want to make it look more realistic. You have to actually bevel or smooth out those edges so they can have more of a, more of a realistic look to them. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that the easy way. Uh, let me open this up. Open up Blender. Let me turn on my screencast keys. Make sure that this is working. Yeah, I'm kind of cramped in my car right now. I'm outside. I uh, can't record inside tonight because of uh, my son. He's. I mean, it's too cold for him to go outside, so I'm recording outside myself. So, in my vehicle outside of Barnes and Noble, in a bit of a cramped space, but uh, we'll make this work. So in Blender, you can use the bevel modifier to bevel. Uh, as you can see, we have a cube here with some sharp edges, sharp corners. And if we wanted to smooth that out, we go to the modifier tab and click on Add Modifier and go to Bevel. And it makes it smooth and to make it even smoother, because it's still a little jagged on the edges there, let's pull this out so we can see it, this a little bit better we can increase the segments and when we do that it's a lot smoother but the only issue with this is it does it to all the edges but if you wanted to do just to uh, specific or particular edges you'd have to do it one at a time and I'm going to show you how you can do that easily so let's delete this cube let me try to reach around here the uh, glove compartment let me click delete shift A add mesh and cube and let's minimize that we don't need to see that and we're going to go into edit mode by click clicking tab on our keyboard and go into edge select mode click on that and click on our edge and then we're going to press shift a on our keyboard actually press the spacebar on our keyboard and type in bevel I've already typed it in so once you've typed in bevel, click on that. And you can see that nothing happened. You'll see this dotted line going from your cursor to the edge you've selected. But in order to see something happen, just physically move your mouse until you see that that uh, edge kind of pan out or flatten out. And to get the edge to bevel, you scroll up on your mouse wheel. The more you scroll up, the more of a better curve you'll get. Or a smoother bevel you'll get so left click to accept that change and then we're going to get out of tab edit mode by pressing tab and you can see that our edge has been smooth has been made smooth and the benefit of this is that it does you, you don't have to do it, it doesn't do it to all the edges just the one that you've selected and the other benefit to it is that you can do it to as many edges as you want let's press tab again I'm going to try to balance my mouse on top of my armrest here. And then let's click on another edge. Let's click on this one here just to make it interesting. Click on that. Once again, the space bar bevel comes up. Left click on bevel, move our mouse a little bit. And the number of cuts that, or the number of uh, segments that we added initially by scrolling up on our mouse wheel is still active. So we can scroll down if we want less. But the less you have, the rougher it kind of looks. Let's scroll back up a little bit to our mouse wheel. Left click to accept that change. And then press tab to go back into object mode. We have this unique pattern. So yeah, that's how you can bevel edges in Blender individually without having to bevel. Use the uh, bevel modifier to do the whole thing. So once again, that's today's quick tip on how to bevel edges in blender for more realistic meshes when it comes to furniture or hard surface modeling and once again i really appreciate you guys who have subscribed and those of you who will subscribe in the future and i really thank you guys and appreciate it and i will see you guys on the next one you guys have a great evening and a great life all right adios